Now, former Spanish Football Federation head Luis Rubiales is appearing in court in the Spanish capital Madrid over his now infamous kissing of Jennifer Hermoso after Spain's World Cup final win. He's facing sexual assault allegations over the kiss. Rubiales, who finally resigned his post on Sunday after a storm of criticism, insists it was consensual. Hermoso has repeatedly denied that it was. Well, for more on this, we're joined by Samra Hunter in Barcelona. Samra is a sports journalist and presenter at Spain's La Liga TV. Samra, great to see you. So today's hearing is taking place behind closed doors. What's expected to come out of this court appearance? Well, hopefully we'll hear something in the coming hours or by the end of the day as to what exactly they are talking about. But what we do know is that he had to show up to the national courts earlier this afternoon or earlier this morning, sorry, and he has had to speak to a judge and give his side of the story and explain from his point of view what exactly happened. He has been accompanied by a lawyer who will also be uh, carrying the, the burden of this conversation for today. But I imagine that what he will be doing is saying basically the same that he's been saying all along. He's been been very consistent in defending himself and defending his honor and saying that he is innocent and claiming that there was consent, even though Johnny Hermoso has repeatedly said that there wasn't. He has continued to say that he doesn't understand what he has done wrong because he doesn't believe that he has, in fact, done anything wrong. So I imagine he will continue to explain everything that he's already publicly been saying over these last few weeks. Of course, his job will be to convince the judge that, in fact, he is innocent because otherwise he could find himself in some very, very severe trouble. Because this is a case that is being looked at as a possible crime, as an act of sexual aggression, which, according to the law, this is seen as such. Of course, it will have to be proven in this particular case. If he's found guilty, he could be up to, he could find himself with, with a fine or anywhere up to five years in prison. So, and it's not just the fact that we're talking about the kiss itself. There is the matter of coercion as well, as it supposedly relates to him trying to convince Jenny Hermosa to appear in an apology video because he knew that he needed her support in order to try and save his job. So there are various things that are being looked at here. And he understands, I imagine, the severity of the situation within he finds himself right now. Now, Semra, the entire Spanish women's football team has been uh, essentially on strike and intend to continue their mm. boycott, even though Rubiales has resigned. So could you explain the reasons behind this decision? Absolutely. One of the main reasons that they feel as though more structural changes need to happen. It's not just about Luis Rubiales. It's not just about Jorge Vilda, who is the head coach of the women's national team since 2015, who also has been sacked and is no longer part of the federation. They want more. They want changes that are deeper, more meaningful. And what's been widely reported here in Spain is that two of the main things that they are still demanding be changed are the removal of Andreo Camps, which is the secretary general. He's seen as the right-hand man of Luis Rubiales. He was the one who, by the way, set forward that incredible request to UEFA to have the federation suspended from any European competition as a way to threaten the Spanish government in trying to defend Luis Rubiales. It's also said that he is the one who was very difficult and firm in their stance of defending Jorge Vilda back in the day whenever the 15 women put forward that email a year ago and really did not want to try and negotiate or listen to anything that they had to say when raising their concerns. So they want him gone. And another thing is that they want the communications department looked at. They want consequences there as well. Because according to Danny Hermoso, that statement that was immediately released in the aftermath of the kiss by the Federation, she never said any of those words. And so she is saying it was completely made up by the Federation. So they are asking for more changes because I think they understand that this is a now or never moment. If they don't get what they want now, perhaps it's never going to happen for them at another point in time. And Alexia Putellas was speaking on Wednesday and she pretty much alluded to this fact. She said, we are not going to stop fighting. We are going to keep pushing. We're not just for ourselves, but for future generations of boys and girls as well. We need to make sure that women are respected, that they are valued, and that these kinds of things do not continue to happen. So it seems as though even though Monte Tomé, the new coach, is meant to give a squad list later this afternoon at 4 p.m. local time in Spain, we're not entirely sure that they're actually going to accept that call up. And Samra, you'll be, uh, I'm sure, following every moment for us. Um, journalist Samra Hunter in Barcelona. Thanks. Thank you.